What if I told you that we have just found the most distant black hole ever seen in X-rays, and that it is smaller than any other black hole we know from the early universe? Would you believe me? Well, you should, because this is a real scientific discovery that has just been announced by a team of astronomers using two powerful space telescopes, the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the James Webb Space Telescope. This discovery is important and surprising because it gives us a rare glimpse of the early universe when the first stars and galaxies were forming. It also helps us understand how some of the first supermassive black holes, which are millions or billions of times more massive than the sun, formed in the cosmos. But this discovery also challenges and puzzles us because it contradicts our current theories and models of how the first black holes formed and grew in the early universe. In this video, I will tell you about the amazing discovery of a black hole that is 13.2 billion light years away from us, which means that we are seeing it as it was 470 million years after the Big Bang. I will also explain how this black hole challenges our current understanding of how the first supermassive black holes formed in the cosmos. So, stay tuned and get ready to explore the most distant and mysterious black hole ever detected in X-rays. To find the most distant black hole in X-rays, the astronomers used two powerful space telescopes, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, which is the world's most sensitive X-ray telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope, which is the newest and most advanced infrared telescope. They also used a cosmic magnifying glass effect called gravitational lensing, which occurs when a massive object, such as a galaxy cluster, bends the light from a more distant object, such as a galaxy, making it appear brighter and larger. Let me explain how this works. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. According to this theory, gravity is not a force but a curvature of space and time caused by the presence of mass. This means that the light traveling through space can be bent by the gravity of a massive object, such as a galaxy cluster, which acts like a lens, magnifying and distorting the image of a more distant object such as a galaxy. This effect can increase the brightness and size of the distant object by a factor of up to 100, making it easier to detect and observe. This is how the astronomers found the most distant black hole in X-rays, by using the gravitational lensing effect of a known galaxy cluster, which is located about 5 billion light years away from us. This galaxy cluster magnified and distorted the image of a galaxy called UHZ1, which is located about 13.2 billion light years away from us, and which hosts the most distant black hole ever recorded. This discovery is surprising and so important because it gives us a rare glimpse of the early universe when the first stars and galaxies were forming. It also helps us understand how some of the first supermassive black holes, which are millions or billions of times more massive than the sun, formed in the cosmos. But most importantly, it challenges and puzzles us because it contradicts our current theories and models of how the first black holes formed and grew in the early universe. Let me explain why. The astronomers found the black hole located in a galaxy called UHZ1, which is 13.2 billion light years away from us. This means that we are seeing the galaxy and the black hole as they were 470 million years after the Big Bang which occurred 13.8 billion years ago. This is very close to the beginning of cosmic history, when the first stars and galaxies were forming out of primordial gas and dust. The host galaxy is very small, with a diameter of about 2,000 light years, which is 20 times smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy. It is very active, producing new stars at a rate of about 20 times that of the Milky Way. The black hole is much smaller than other black holes that existed in the early universe, with a mass of about 100,000 times that of the sun. It is also very active, emitting X-rays and infrared radiation as it consumes gas and dust from its surroundings. This discovery gives us a rare opportunity to study the early universe, when the first stars and galaxies were forming. It also helps us understand how some of the first supermassive black holes, which are found at the centers of most galaxies, including our own, and which play a crucial role in shaping the structure and evolution of the universe, 
formed in the cosmos. Supermassive black holes are millions or billions of times more massive than the sun, and they can affect their environments by emitting powerful jets of radiation and matter, heating and ionizing the gas, and triggering or suppressing the formation of new stars. The origin and evolution of supermassive black holes is one of the biggest mysteries in modern astrophysics, and this discovery may help us solve it. But it is also surprising because it challenges and puzzles us because it contradicts our current theories and models of how the first black holes formed and grew in the early universe. According to our models, the first black holes should have been much larger, with masses of at least a million times that of the Sun, because they were formed from the collapse of the first massive stars, which were hundreds of times more massive than the Sun. We also do not know how the black hole in UHC-1 could have grown to become a supermassive black hole since there was not enough time and matter available for it to accrete or merge with other black holes. We also do not know how this black hole could have affected its host galaxy and how it could have co-evolved with it. These are some of the questions and puzzles that this discovery raises and that we need to answer. The current discovery is not conclusive and definitive, as it is based on a single observation and a limited amount of data. We need more observations and data to confirm and refine the properties and nature of the black hole and its host galaxy. We also need to account for the possible errors and biases in the measurements, such as the effects of the gravitational lensing, the calibration of the telescopes, and the assumptions and models used to interpret the data. Another thing to consider is the alternative explanations or scenarios, such as the possibility that the black hole is not as distant as we think, or that it is not a black hole at all, but a different type of object, such as a neutron star or a quasar. These are some of the limitations and uncertainties of the current discovery, and that we need to overcome. The future plans and goals for this research are to use new and improved instruments and techniques to observe and study the most distant black holes in X-rays and other wavelengths, such as radio, optical, and ultraviolet. We also plan to collaborate and coordinate with different teams and projects, such as the Event Horizon Telescope, which is a network of radio telescopes that can image the shadows of black holes, and the Square Kilometer Array, which is a giant radio telescope that can detect the signals from the first stars and galaxies. We also plan to explore and investigate new and related questions and topics, such as how the most distant black holes affect their environments, how they interact with other black holes and galaxies, and how they evolve over time. These are some of the future prospects and opportunities for this research, and that we hope to achieve. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, Please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave us a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.